Spooky. Feds them are move spooky. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Leah Lorraine. I'm back at it again with another video. If you're new to my channel, hey girl, hey, my name is Leah. I make videos, story times, hauls, I do a little bit of everything. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, hey bestie, I hope you're doing wonderful, fabulous, beautiful, amazing. Before you get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Liking a video helps me a lot. It helps me get into the algorithm. It helps other people see my videos just like you. So if you like you, what you see, you know what I'm saying? You've watched a few of my videos before, like it now. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I know some of you have probably watched quite a few of my videos and you think that you're subscribed to my channel but chances are you're not what you think you're subscribed to is just because like youtube is constantly showing and recommending my videos to you but you're not actually subscribed so take a second and make sure you're subscribed to my channel because it's free and i know you've seen me before so at this point you might as well subscribe don't let 2020 end with you being a hater that ain't cute. So today's video is a unpopular opinions video. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the love and the feedback that I received on my last unpopular opinion. I know so many of you come onto my channel for story times and that's fine. I respect it. But the fact that a lot of you watch my video and you really liked it and you commented and stuff like that, that meant a lot to me and I really appreciate you allowing me the chance to do things outside of story time. So without further ado, let's get started. My first unpopular opinion is that Zeus Network is single-handedly tearing down the black community yeah so i will say that i have watched quite a few shows on the zeus network i've watched one more chance i've watched um baddies i watched baddie south i watched bad boys club la i watched um jocelyn's cabaret like i've watched all the big zeus network shows at first i liked it because it was entertaining let's be honest one more chance was funny shit but I will say that as I watched these shows, I did notice that there was something problematic about every single one of them. There was something so, so problematic about all of them. Like there was something about every single one of these shows that was alarming to me. And I will say I did keep watching it. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, act like I didn't because I kept watching it once I start a show I usually feel like I have to see it through and so I did watch every single one of these shows to the end where I draw the line is the show that they're coming out with about Krishan and Blueface now if you're on the internet you're on Instagram TikTok anywhere literally anywhere then you know about Krishan and Blueface's relationship now the first time I heard about Krishan and Blueface was actually from Batty South I had never even known who Krishan was at you know before this incident and once i knew about her it's like i kept hearing more about their tumultuous relationship they are in one of the most toxic explosive chaotic relationships i have ever seen on the internet it's very much so giving bobby and whitney and that is not a good thing now their relationship is a separate story what's bothering me is the fact that zeus network is using this and exploiting the hell out of them they're literally using this very toxic relationship and showing it to the world in order to make a coin because guess what they know that people want to see it they know that there are some people who are deluded enough to say that Krishan and Blueface are relationship goals. They know that Krishan has formed this really massive fan base since Batty South came out. They know this and so they want to use that. They want to exploit the relationship they have with both Blueface and Krishan and make a bag off of it. Y'all for that anybody with common sense anybody who's been through therapy or has had any type of toxic relationship or experienced one knows that these two people they need help and they're in this relationship together because they're trauma bonding i'm not their therapist so i'm not gonna keep saying more about it but we all know okay we all know and we're all sick and tired of it i don't even follow any of these people and every single day i go on instagram every single day i go on twitter i see something about krishan and blueface i'm sick and i'm tired it's enough and the fact that zeus is really trying to sit there and make money off of them instead of really doing something about it you will not see heaven my second unpopular opinion is that twitter is more toxic than tiktok okay there was a point where i thought tiktok was the most toxic app however i've come to realize that it's actually twitter i've been on twitter since 2013 and consistently it wasn't up until last year that i kind of like took a break off of twitter um and when i came back i realized the reason i left in the first place right to be fair the reason i left was not that's another story but when i came back on twitter i realized that like so much of it i don't like like the hypersexuality on twitter i can scroll for 30 seconds on twitter and come across like seven to eight really sexual and explicit tweets and for what are you dumb I'm gonna be honest, Twitter is just baby up. Like it's it's literally just just baby 
Pornhub. Honestly, y you know, they don't censor anything on Twitter. The people don't censor words, they don't censor no videos, they don't censor pictures, they don't censor anything on Twitter. Um, but aside from the hypersexuality, there's so much chaos. Like there's always gender wars on Twitter. Like people are always fighting about men and women. There's always like these whole thesis statements about who should pay the bill and who should do this and that. Y'all already know I hate these topics. I hate the podcast topics. And they usually start from Twitter. Hate it so much. Shut up, shut up, bro, shut up, bro. I hate it so much. Every time I go on Twitter, I feel stressed and anxious because why? Why? You know, sometimes it's funny, but mostly it's chaotic. And for me personally, it's not worth it. Uh, speaking of chaotic, those of you on Instagram who get onto people's close friends and you're disappointed because you don't see no titties and no ass and nothing raunchy, you need therapy. You, you need therapy or perhaps a straight jacket because what makes you think that because somebody added you on close friends that immediately means that they're gonna post something raunchy or explicit are you dumb it doesn't make any sense it doesn't i saw someone on instagram recently say like why would you post why would you add me on your close friends if all you're doing is like laundry or ironing or anything like that if you didn't know just because someone has an instagram account doesn't mean they want everyone to see every part of their life especially if you have a good professional job or you work in media or anything like that you don't want everyone to see every aspect of your life it's not reasonable to think that so when you're added to my close friends, I regret to inform you, you will not be seeing any titty. You will not see anything raunchy. And if you're expecting it, you need to get the out. <clears throat> like, let's be real, this is not OF. This is not OnlyFans, bro. And for those of you who add people to your close friends because you want to post stuff like that. You're not going to jail. You're going to prison. Delusional women are doing something right. You know, ever since I decided to be delusional about my life and romanticize and fantasize everything about my life, I've been so happy. I've been flourishing even, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm able to wake up in the morning and have a fresh perspective on life. Because the life that I have manifested and the life that I continue to manifest, with every fiber in my being, I know that it's gonna come to be true. I know it, I just know it, I know it. Like you really couldn't tell me any different at all. And I wish you would try. I think women who are delusional about their lives, trajectory of where they're going, are women who are doing what needs to be done. I personally, I don't watch the news because it's sad as shit. It's sad, it's fear mongering, like it's a whole bunch of stuff. I think that I'm the best thing to ever happen to the planet, okay? I'm the best thing to ever happen to the Caribbean, to New York, to America, to my man, to my family. I am it. I'm it. I'm it. Well, I mean, I don't have any problems with myself. I honestly think that God made one perfect person. It's me. And why shouldn't I be? Why shouldn't I be? You know what I'm saying? I think I said this once and I'll say it again, but um, seafood boils are disgusting. They're, mm, they're nasty. Um, and it, this may be because the only seafood boils that I've had has been like very brothy. There's been a lot of liquids and stuff in there and I don't like liquids. I don't like soup. I don't like broth. I don't like stock. I don't like anything like that. Okay, so maybe that's why I don't like seafood boils, but the way people rant and rave about them and the way people want to be a crab leg, like I cannot relate. Now, I was a pescatarian for a full year. I was a pescatarian for a full year. I only stopped being a pescatarian January 1st. I know seafood. There's a point where I wanted to be a seafood, but I never, ever, ever liked seafood boils. And maybe I should just try another one. Maybe I should try one that's not so brothy and doesn't have liquids and stuff like that in them. But doesn't that defeat the purpose of the boil? You know, doesn't, doesn't that defeat the purpose? The job hunt process is a form of hazing. They're all mean girls. Now, I've noticed on TikTok that there are recruiters and there are, you know, these career writers and these career people who like, will help you get resume writing and stuff like that. And I think that's great. I think that's amazing. You're doing the Lord's work helping people for free. What I find to be extremely annoying is how many rules there are when it comes to writing a resume and applying to jobs. Before, when you were writing resumes and applying to jobs, you would do the resume, the formatting and stuff like that, do a good text, make sure, you know, you could read it, it was legible and stuff like that. There are simple rules that you to understand when it comes to submitting resumes and applying for jobs however it has become way more complicated i saw someone say the other day to take out the year you graduated from your resume because it leads to biasness when they're hiring because if you're under 30 they feel like you're not um you're not good enough for senior position and if you're over a certain age they feel like maybe like you've been working too long and you don't fit in the company culture i beg your pardon 
Why does that matter? I feel like all the hoops that you have to jump through in order to get a job, it's crazy. Not to mention, when you get the screening interview, they usually don't call you back. And if they do call you back, you go through like three to six different interview processes and steps. You do these evaluation tests and stuff like that. You get to the next level just for you to be ghosted at the end. Ghosted for someone that knew the cousin of the aunt of the sister of the person at HR and a nigga that worked downstairs at the cafeteria. You're literally ghosted for people because because of nepotism so you did all of this for what for what it's hazing if you're gonna hire me hire me if you're not then don't like don't make me go through all of this it's so sick and it's so stressful as if it wasn't stressful enough to find a job in a declining economy why would you do this to people it's it's just so sick it's it's so sick people who are always talking about money are only making up for the fact that they have no personality um and i thought that this was something we would stop doing when i was in high school like there are people who literally walk around with all these name brands and like they walk around with all this designer and this money and stuff like that and it's like they're trying to prove a point they're trying to tell you that their money is worth the fact that they don't have a personality that's what's really going on here i've met so many people with money who always talk about money that's the thing that's the thing it's okay for you to have money it's okay for you to be well established what's not okay is the fact that that's the only thing you can talk about that is the only thing you can talk about you can't tell me anything except the fact that you got a bag that you'll be going to um the ritz carlton that you'll be going to um what's that place called folk of the child the fact that you'll be going to all these like upscale restaurants and stuff like that that's the only thing you could talk about you have no personality um and my last unpopular opinion is that a lot of you use this like soft girl um this life this aesthetic as a reason to be a oh um i love the soft girl aesthetic i love the fact that women are like yeah you know i really want to tune into my feminism and you know do my skincare and like look good in the house for myself or with me i really want to walk my expensive little dog and be cute and be matchy matchy i want to live my best life i want to be young and turnt by also being responsible and working i love that the girlies are doing this for themselves what i don't like is the fact that some of y'all are using this luxury soft life as a reason to bully others i've seen so many people on tiktok say like oh um well y'all are saying like you got all these bags and stuff like that but your bags are from dh gate y'all not really in no soft life and stuff like that you're not soft life if you have a hood nigga da -da 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 -da. just because your nigga makes money doesn't mean that you live a soft life soft life is literally it, it's i'm it's a trigger word for me at this point because it feels like y'all are literally using anything as a reason to tell people that they cannot achieve this life and i'm sick of it i'm really really sick of it y'all are not women who want to empower other women you just want the things that you have to be unattainable and that's just the truth Next so that is the end of my video if you guys like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe subscribe and join the gang 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 because you're gonna watch this whole video you might as well stick around if you agree with anything i said don't forget to comment down below if you disagree if you disagree definitely comment down below and let's really get into it um don't forget to like comment and subscribe subscribe and join the gang 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 follow me on all my socials that is twitter tiktok and instagram it is in the outro and also in the description box down below call me bb if you want to reach me i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next one bye y'all shout out to everybody i have fun <laughs>